Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Stargy Valley with me, Zug, here on Broadside Gaming. And uh, after the ending of the last episode, which I'm hoping was very annoying, uh, it's a little bit more exciting this episode. So it's spring, it's raining, you know what that means. We get to use the mermaid's pendant, which I finally picked up. So we're going to give it to the one we've chosen, which is Abigail. She accepts! Hooray! Getting married in three days. Yeah, take that, Pierre. That's what you get for screwing me over all year. Marrying your daughter. So, now that's sorted. And let's um, head back to the farm. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do all winter, but you can't make it rain unless you have a rain totem, which you can't get unless you've got level 10 foraging. So yeah, not happening year one. God, this, this fucking... Get out of the way! Right. Yeah, we've set up the crops. And I'm going to plant some garlic. Well, it right next to bean sprouts. I did spend a huge amount of money buying seeds, but <laughs> oh, it's because it's twelve across. That's why. Oh well, fuck it. We'll have ten. Although it is going to annoy me. Fuck it. We'll go back and buy some two more. Damn my need for things to be equal and not look squiffy. But I'm so glad it's not winter anymore. It's a very long winter in Stargy Valley. Congratulating me. What a prick. She says. No, oh, she's just telling. Well, they're not very supportive parents at all. Maybe I'm maybe I'm doing a really good thing marrying her, getting her out of that weird cold home. Make some goddamn money. We need to expand the barn and get us some sheep. Oh, crap. And plant the last two garlics because it would have upset me if I didn't. There we go. Lovely. Well, I suppose we can do. Collect some hay. Cut all of it down, just most of it. The golden axe. wood just completely out of everything that's only three so we can go over a little foraging forest yeah, yeah another chicken statue just what i wanted Close. 
Let's have a little, a little look around, see what's going on. Get through there. I don't know. Also, we're looking in the secret forest finally. Ooh, horseradish. I love that. Let's see what the secret forest has for us. Green slimes, not in my forest. Anything else? No, just more slimes. I think that's it for the day. We could go a little further into the forest and find some more things, but um, yeah, let's just have a little further look. Do you need? Get all the trees out here, so I need to put them to regrow. Not, not cut those things down. You're not. Oh, we can go check out the um, the secret spot where there's usually things growing. Yeah, secret spot. Everyone loves the secret spot. Enough. Let's see if um, Hat Mouse is down there. Yay, Hat Mouse is still there. Let's see what hats he has today. Not very good. It's fine for me, Hat Mouse. It's getting dark. Mm -hmm. So it's that little tiny bit of wood sitting there. It'd be rude. random seeds while I'm running around. I'm to hit the baby trees. This I need wood. Hopefully, it's enough stuff to stop the birds from eating all my seeds.
By Jove, it works. Go, go, sprinklers. And that's how we spent all winter trying to get quartz to build those bloody things. A lot of eggs. Right. Beat the ducks and the chickens, let them out. Happy cows. Hopefully, by the end of the spring, we left some sheep. Cows out. It's bloody things. Just get out of the way, all of you. It's my watering can. I don't think I've used the golden one yet. It's the only area on the farm that doesn't have sprinklers. And I found that um, bean sprouts are really irritating and block off everything around them. So my plan of just sticking them in those lovely little patterns kind of hindered. Oh, a little bit. Try this goddamn place up a bit. There's shit everywhere. I just want more space for grass to grow. Ooh, a leak. I'm gonna need the hardwood at some point, so fuck it, collect it while I'm thinking about it. This would be a good time to upgrade my hoe, but I don't particularly want to spend every penny I have doing it. Come back a bit. We kind of got pretty fucking decimated over winter. There's a stump over there. Looking a bit tidier. Also, hopefully, 
I'm gonna get some fruit trees put down. But I think next on the list will be the barn. So fruit trees will have to wait for a little bit. So when they only produce like one or two months of the year when the barn can produce all year round. used to picking up these piddly bits, but must be pay for not wanting to absolutely devastate the environment. And, you know, make it so I don't have any fucking trees I can down. There you go, she's just made my point. So there is a reason I'm cutting all these weeds up, because one, it lets stuff grow where they are, and also I need the fibres to make uh, moss starters. I don't have to keep paying that stupid fucking bitch for uh, hay. Because I really begrudge having to hunt her down just to give her all my money. It's just annoying me. But also, since that strange incident with the bear, when the berries come back into season, I'll get three times the price for them. So, yay berries. Birds, my stuff. I don't think the magical patch will be regenerated yet, but we can still go have a look. or something. End of the season I was supposed to go somewhere and check something and there was going to be a secret surprise there and I kind of forgot to do it. Well, see how I remember to do it in the spring. It's looking a bit cleaner. Damn weeds choking everything. Got more trees planted over there. There, yeah, see what that does. Right, I think that that's good for the day. It's weird it won't let me plant trees on the grass though. But it'll only let me plant them on the mud. Let 
all that regenerate a bit. Okay, make sure they're all in there. Yep. Let's make sure they're all in there. Yep. Everything's watered. Yeah, I'm not doing the fucking vertical thing again. Upset me too much. Cool. It's all good. I think that is good for the day. bad, just like two grand ticking over of just random shit I found. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Uh, the barn's going to cost about ten grand, I think. It's going to be Q. <laughs> Fucking produce eggs, you bastards. Bought you for. I love you too, Rhonda, but eggs. See, the cows really disappoint. It's only been once or twice that the cows haven't produced milk for me, and that was only when they were upset. Water everything. Well, that would be a pain in the fucking ass. Right. Um. Origin. Get down to the beach as well. Oh no, we're going north this time. forgot. Not worth much, but like kicking the teeth. Three horseradish. I want a leak. My forage has gone up, so I get a chance to get double. this place. Collect some fallen wood. the 
barn is like 450 wood I need for it. It's going to take a little while if all I can do is gather the shit like this. Here, I'm gonna fucking grab it. We should work out what those fucking things are. Not star for stone, I'm not gonna bother mining all of that. Just using the minecart. Sorry. It's gonna be nice down here during the spring. Ooh. Radium. I could just nuke all of these trees and then replant them. good time for you to be harassing me for whatever the fuck it is you want. Okay, you're just going to sit on my mouse, that's fine. Hand is there, but you know, you do you, I suppose. I think that is enough deforestation for now. Oh, that's quite a bit of wood out of that. We'll walk back, see if there's anything else I can steal. I mean, harvest. I didn't really want that tree, I just want to see if I can cut it down. Buy. At least there's only 750 and not an accidental like six grand fucking buy. 
careful with the whole clicking too quickly as I come in the door. Right, nothing to pick up. God damn it, that costs you 750 just for fucking misclicking. Grr. Grr and fucking arg. Robin and Demetrius. All right, I'll have a wander down to the beach and see if there's anything to steal over there. Oh, sprinklers are amazing. I fucking love sprinklers. Okay, four days, and I'll come back and look at the new ones. Let's go beachcombing. We should do some fishing, but I just can't be asked. Well, that sucked. I'd better get back and put the animals to bed. Otherwise they'll get pissy at me again. Oh, I think it's the wedding tomorrow, actually. Put on my best straw hat. Hey, honey. Anything else to sell? And a pocket with some diamond as well. Don't think so. Little tree. Count. Yep, all in. Good. Fucking way. Get the muscles. Okay. So nice not having to worry about watering everything. <laughs> hey, here's the wedding. Isn't that sweet? I don't know what she's celebrating about. Celebrating about. I didn't even invite her. Well, it's going to be a bit different from now on, apparently. Cool. So I can't actually talk to her. Okay. Oh, 
awesome. Like it glues her room like onto my room. Sweet. What well, good do you think, Abigail? You know, you just, you're not a kept woman. Free, do what you want. Hey, eggs. What's a lovely wedding gift? Favorite gift? Gift of money. I think after the first harvest we should have enough money to upgrade the barn. That's everything. I thought I was going to cut one of the plants in. Oh, what a lovely wedding that was. Just doesn't just stand there. Go do your stuff, Abigail. You know, You've got a farm to live on. Go live your best life. Go check on the mushrooms. He moving here. And I'm trying to be good and not destroying everything, but you know, there, there comes a fucking point when I can't move. Purple mushroom. There's a log on the floor. Cry. Rogue stone littering my farm. I don't think so. Detected. Murder them. What's rubbish? Only seeds. Wiggly worms, eh? Very large mushroom tree. Let's see if there's any goodies out in the field. Couple. 
I did promise I'd wear my best straw hat to the wedding, and I did. Oh boy, I looked rather dashing. in it. Damn ducks all over my vegetable patch. do come back a bit. Let's just clear out some stone to our spawns. She just randomizes what spawns when everything's been taken out. Abigail's gonna have some Abigail is gonna have some fucking questions for me. It's like, what do you do all day? Well, I feed the animals and I just go out stealing. Proper farmer. Right. Let's see if anything spawns in there done this. Some of the seeds are taken. We'll come back in a day or so and see what's going on. sure they're all in there. Yep. Hang on. I oh, know they were they're all there. What Mr. Chicken? Mr. Chicken. 
check everything's been watered. Yep, all good, all good. I had a good day, so there's always something. Well, I hope you had a good fucking day. It was our wedding day. Right, well, I'm off to bed. Playing a flute, fair enough. Uh, you're craving fresh apricot. Well, that sucks, don't have me. So, only on my wedding day, you're going to give me some fucking eggs, eh? Then. No, don't eat them. Oh, there we go. Being weird about the hay for some reason. Pretty should Google if letting the animals out actually does anything. Well, I do seem to get less eggs letting them out. Oh, it obviously, they don't need all the food because they're not stuck in all day. It's kind of saving on that. But does it do anything else? I don't know. I'll have to have a look. And also, it's quite funny seeing them just wandering around the farm. out of eight birds. That's not great. Oh, the garlic's done. Stealing. Nope. Although when it's berry season, oh, nick all the berries and get my filthy little hands on. Right, four days. Four days. Forty, twenty. I'm going to assume they worth more. Get on the notice board. Not worth 90 gold. Is anything worth 
beagling at the, the other side. Oh, God. Fuckers getting in my way all the bloody time. if my secret stash of onions has popped back up again. No, only two today. Oh, I wasn't expecting much. We need to, at some point, make friends with that stupid animal woman because one of the main quests is to get the mayor's trousers which she left in her bedroom after possibly a sordid night of passion with her. Yeah, it's really in between the lines here but it's probably what happened. Going on in the secret forest. Ooh, a mushroom. Let's see that one. So we have to find a, a use for hardwood, but no doubt it'll make itself known to me at some point in probably the most irritating way possible. I'd be like, you need 4,000 hardwood to make this door handle. Any door handle, it's the door handle you really, really need. Check the beach as well. It's Fisher Dude. Lay him down so I can get to the beach first. Where he steals all my shells. And mind, god damn it, I've got a family support now. New dialogue for me.
I suppose. Expensive though. There's all of stuff still there. I assume all the stuff in my place is wedding gifts. Oh god, that means that Pierre's my father-in-law. Where's my fucking discount? What? Let's go check the quarry. See if anything's regrown. Oh, it has. Much, but you know, it's something. It's good to know. Bus stop. Going to the bus stop. Going to the bus stop. Yeah. Dump everything in the boxes. How much wood do I have actually? Not enough for the barn just yet. Alright, all the animals are in. Boo. Check the relationship thing. Oh, the relationship thing can go higher. Okay. Give her more gifts. Okay, so I can certainly get give her one a day. It's not tracking it for some reason. Weird. Yeah, because usually it like tracks everything. Mushrooms and bread in the fridge, just like any good fridge. Not touching that stuff. Girl, my dear, please don't just lurk. Oh, I forgot we have we have a pet gerbil. Right, I think that's uh, we're going to leave it there for today. So thank you very much for joining us, folks. We very much appreciate it. And if you've enjoyed the constant channel, please like, subscribe, hit that little bell for notifications. It really does help us out. And uh, I really hope you've enjoyed the special wedding episode. And what makes it special is, is that there was a wedding. That's about it. So thank you very much for joining me, and I shall see you all next time. So see you later. <laughs>